Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Wee Hin Wu here from the University of Kamangsa, Malaysia. So today I would like to show you about how you can run large language model locally in your system. So as a marine biologist, I usually go to areas or islands which has limited internet access. And at the same time, I'm also an ecologist, which I need to have a lot of uh, data. And also I need to run a lot of data to get my ideal output. So I do a lot of data analytics and with the introduction of large language models recently, it does really help me in getting or optimize my codes for my data analysis. And so recently there's a large language model introduced by uh, China where it's called DeepSeq R1. So DeepSeq R1 is a very efficient, as it claimed to be an efficient large language model. And then we can actually download it natively in and run it natively in our own system without going online. And so, however, we have to understand that this native large language model in our system, it is not as good or as efficient as the one that is online. Because as far as I know, DeepSeq R1 has around 617 billion parameters for the online version. But for my system currently, it can only run the 7 billion uh, parameters version because this is the maximum my VRAM or my GPU can, can uh, maintain or can uh, provide me. So because most of the part, how do we want to know whether our system can run this large language model or not? It's based on the parameters. And in a general sense, it's based on the parameter, uh, how many billion of parameter with our VRAM of our GPU for mostly for Windows and Linux system. And so since I have a GPU of only 8 gigabyte VRAM, so I can only use a 7 maximum 8 billion parameter large language model, but I wouldn't don't want to stress my system out. So I'll go for 7 billion. And so here I'll show you how I run it in R for my analysis and queries using large, like native large language models. So first we have to call for the Olama library. So Olama library is actually a, a package to call the Olama uh, software, which is a medium and an archive repository for large language models online. And so now I will test the connection and you see that uh, the connection is up. And next, we'll look into the list of models I have in my system locally. So locally, I've downloaded the DeepSeq R1 7 billion uh, model, which is about 4.7 gigabyte in my hard drives. However, it can run 7.6 billion parameters. So this is the maximum my VRAM can sustain, uh, can run for me. So I have, have to use this uh, parameter. And if you don't have any models, you can pull any large language models by using pull DeepSeq R1. Uh, based on this, you just have to replace this based on the large language model you need. However, you have to understand that this large language model requires a download time of the language or the systems, uh, the models into your system. And so you need to give it some time. So since I've downloaded it uh, in my system, so I can run it directly here. So if I want to get what I need, if you can see right here, currently I'm offline. See that I'm on app play mode and there's no internet. I use the sync and I prompt here, construct, Plot in R with data frame DF1 and uh, Y axis of R1. Group the data based on track one. So just press it and then it will run like a normal deep seek uh, prompt if think and it we enforce itself, try to think how to run it one by one and what to do step by step. And by the end of the prompt, it will uh, output, it will show you all the script that you can run with it. So it might be a little bit of a wait, but because this is a native uh, script, so it will take some native large language model, it will take some time and it will run slowly. As you can see it, 
And so this is the final output of the script. Without internet, I can run large language model in my R uh, programming language in RStudio IDE. That's it for now. Thank you very much for your time. Ciao.